The Project 11356 class, also referred as Krivak 5 class, is nothing but a variant of an old design modified to answer today's naval combat requirements. Therefore, these frigates may be a system that will be overlooked at first glance. However, Russia is on the brink of a war with Ukraine, and this fact has turned these frigates into one of the most key systems in the Black Sea. As the weapon detective, we're investigating the Project 11356 class, the mainstay of the Black Sea fleet. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start, and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. To be notified of our new video, please click the bell button. A little note before we get started. We've stayed away from you for the past week as our account was unfortunately hacked. The problem is resolved now and we will continue sharing our new videos with you. The Project 11356 class frigates are the most modern surface combatants in the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Navy. But they were originally designed for the Indian Navy. Actually, this class of surface combatants is a highly modified variant of the first Cold War vintage the Project 1135 class. To better understand the Project 11356, let's look at its predecessor briefly. The Project 1135 class, whose NATO reporting name is Krivak 1, was developed in the middle of the 1960s for anti submarine warfare mission. There were no helicopters on these surface combatants. Because they would conduct their mission in coordination with land based aircraft in close waters. The Soviet Navy was considering using these ships accompanied with Project 1134A and Project 1134B class cruisers in the open sea. Since these cruisers had helicopters, aviation facilities were not installed in Project 1135 to reduce costs. In time, the USSR had commissioned different variants of the frigates. The Project 1135M, whose NATO reporting name is Krivak 2, had two 100mm single-barrel AK-100 guns instead of the AK-726 of its predecessor. The Project 11351, whose NATO reporting name is Krivak 3, was a variant that was designed as a Coast Guard cutter. This version has aviation facilities, but its offensive capabilities had been reduced significantly. Four of the Project 1135 class frigates, modernized in 1990 through 1992 and renamed as the Project 11352 and 11353. These frigates, also known as Krivak 4 class, were fitted with H-35 Uran anti-ship missiles, whose NATO reporting name is SSN-25 Switchblade, as well as new radar, sonar and ECM equipment. In 1992, Russia managed to sell the latest variant of the frigate, the Project 11356, to India. This ship had inherited good seakeeping and good living conditions of its predecessors. It had an aviation facility. Its reshaped hull and superstructure was reducing radar signature. The ship had been equipped with the latest weaponry and electronic systems. The first ship of this class, INS Talwar, was laid down in 1999 and launched in 2000. She was commissioned three years later. The Indian Navy procured six frigates in two batches. Each batch has a different weapon arrangement. In the late 2000s, the Russian Navy was planning to procure six Project 22350 for the Black Sea Fleet, whose NATO reporting name is Admiral Garshkov. But the program experienced some serious delays. Therefore, the Russian Navy decided to have three Project 11356 class ships for the Black Sea Fleet as the more feasible solution. Besides, three frigates would be built for the Baltic Fleet. But after Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014, Moscow decided to transfer all Project 11356 to the Black Sea Fleet. The first Russian ship of this class, RFNS Admiral Grigorovich, was laid down in 2010 and launched in 2014. She was commissioned in 2016. The Russian variant of the frigate is the Project 11356R class. The letter R refers to the word Russian. Before the annexation of Crimea, the Ukrainian Zorya Mashprek company had delivered three gas turbine units to Russia. 
But after this event, naturally Ukraine has given up to deliver more propulsion systems for the Project 11356R class ships. Therefore, the Russian Navy abandoned the plan of commissioning the last three ships of this class. The last two frigates, RFNS Admiral Butakov and RFNS Admiral Istomin, were sold to India. The status of the fourth ship, which is currently under construction, remains uncertain. The complement of the Indian variant is 180 person. The fully loaded displacement of the Project 11356 is 4000 tons. The frigate has a length of 124.8 meters, a beam of 15.2 meters and a draught of 4.2 meters. The combined gas and gas configuration propulsion system consists of two 6,800 horsepower Zoria M62 and two 27,000 horsepower Zoria AM50 gas turbines. The maximum speed of the Project 11356 is 32 knots. With its economical speed of 20 knots, the ship can reach a range of 8,520 kilometers. The first batch of the Indian Project 11356 class has one 8-cell vertical launching system for three M54 Club anti-ship missiles, one single-arm 3S90E launcher for Steel-1 air defense missiles, eight IGLA-1E air defense missiles, one 100mm A190E gun, two Kashtan closing weapon systems, one RBU-6000 12-barrel anti-submarine rocket system, and two twin 533mm torpedo tubes. The Russian variant has 200-person complement. The Project 11356R class is equipped with the 3M54 caliber anti-ship missiles, whose NATO reporting name is SSN-27 Sizzler. It cruises subsonic speeds. During the terminal phase, it descends its altitude until 4.5 meters while the missile accelerates to a speed of Mach 2.9 and begin random evasive maneuvers. The 3M54, equipped with the 400 to 500 kg high explosive warhead, has a range of 600 km. The first batches of the Indian Project 11356 class has the export version of the missile called 3M54E Club. This version, equipped with a 200 kg high explosive warhead, has a range of 220 km. The second batch of the Indian Project 11356 class surface combatants are equipped with the BrahMos anti-ship missiles. With a maximum speed of Mach 3.5, the BrahMos is the fastest anti-ship missile in use. Its range is about 650 km. The improved version of the missile can reach a range of 800 km. The BrahMos is effective against both land and surface targets. The ship is equipped with the Steel-1 air defense missiles, whose NATO reporting name is SAN-12 Grizzly. The Indian Project 11356 class frigates have one single-arm 3S-90E launcher. All Russian version ships have two 12-cell 3S-90M vertical launching systems. The missile has a reaction time of 5 to 10 seconds. Its effective range is over 30 km and its effective altitude is 15,000 meters. The Steel-1 directs three missiles simultaneously at each target. It has a maximum speed of Mach 4.5. The A190 is operated from the operation room via console. Its reaction time against the air targets is 2 to 5 seconds. The gun has a rate of fire of 8 rounds per minute. Its maximum effective range is 15,000 meters. The Kashtan, whose NATO reporting name is CADSN1, combines two 30mm six-barrel gun and up to eight 9M311 air defense missiles. The effective range of the missile is 8,000 meters. The gun's effective range is 4,000 meters. The Kashtan can track 30 targets and engage eight of them simultaneously. Only the first three Indian Project 11356 class ships have this system. Other Indian and Russian frigates are equipped with the AK-630. This closed weapon system has a rate of fire of 5,000 rounds per minute. Its effective range is about 5,000 meters. The Project 11356 class has aviation facilities that are suitable for the Ka-27 and Ka-31 helicopters. The Indian Navy also deploys the Dru and Chetek helicopters. 
Different from the Indian ships, the propulsion system of the Project 11356R class consists of two 8450 horsepower DS71 and two 22000 horsepower DT59 gas turbines. They have a maximum speed of 30 knots and these frigates can reach a range of 8980 km with an economical speed of 14 knots. Russia, which can no longer supply the gas turbines from Ukraine, commissioned the local NPO Saturn company to develop domestic gas turbines to be used in Project 11356. Since 2008, the Indian Project 11356 class ships have been deployed to the Gulf of Aden for successful anti-piracy operations. In 2015, alongside the destroyer INS Mumbai and the patrol vessel INS Sumitra, INS Tarkash provided protection and support to Indian ships and aircraft involved in the evacuation of Indian citizens from Yemen during the military intervention. In 2016, accompanied by the destroyer INS Kolkata and the fleet tanker INS Aditya, INS Trikant attended the Goodwill mission to Madagascar, Tanzania, Mozambique and South Africa. In 2016 and 2017, RFNS Admiral Grigorovich launched the 3M54 cruise missiles against the targets in Idlib and Homs. Similarly, in 2017, RFNS Admiral Essen conducted a strike mission in Syria by firing its 3M54 cruise missiles. Other than the Project 11356, the major surface combatants of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Navy consist of one Project 1135 class and one Project 1135M class frigates, as well as one Project 1164 class cruiser. All these First Cold War vintage ships cannot answer the modern naval warfare requirements. Today, we're living with the risk of a possible Russo-Ukrainian war. Let's be realistic. The Western countries will not declare war on Russia to protect Ukraine. And even if they send a naval task force to the Black Sea as a show of power, they will avoid confrontation. Besides, the Montreux Convention limits the total tonnage of warships that can be deployed in this sea by non-Black Sea powers. These vessels have to give a notification of 15 days prior to crossing the Turkish Straits. A ship heavier than 15,000 tons cannot pass through the Straits. This means that no modern aircraft carrier can enter the Black Sea. Therefore, the fleet that Western countries will send to the Black Sea will be small without reasonable air support. These conditions may change if Turkey enters the war, but waiting for Turkey to go into the war against Russia would not be realistic. Therefore, a small number of semi-modern ships are sufficient for the Black Sea fleet of the Russian Navy. Russia has enough capacity to prevent any force from entering the north of the Black Sea. Thanks to its long-range 3M54 missiles, the Project 11356 class frigates can attack any ship on the Black Sea without leaving the protective umbrella of the Russian Air Force. The long-range air defense missile batteries can also provide a protective umbrella for them. A highly unlikely Russian-NATO war could not change the situation. In this case, it is too risky to deploy a large naval task force into the Black Sea. The most rational solution would conduct airstrikes using air bases in Bulgaria, Romania and Turkey to destroy the Russian Navy and air power. As the weapon detective, our analysis is that the Project 11356 class may not be the best frigates available, but they are one of the most suitable solutions for the Black Sea fleet of the Russian Navy. Yes, these ships may not have the power to change the balances in the Black Sea. However, the balances in this sea are determined by air power, not surface combat ships. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button.